My name is Junior Constable Sean Boston. I am composing this report at the request of Senior Inspector John Perry. The incident under investigation occurred on the 17th of September 1886 at 7 p.m. at the House of Illusions. Ladies and gentlemen, today you will witness a miracle. Do not be frightened. My machine won't hurt me. Angela, turn it on. During a dress rehearsal of Andy Fox's Time Machine show, the illusionist Mr. Fox and his assistant Angela Forrest disappeared under the most mysterious of circumstances. I have collected evidence from the scene and delivered it to the local police station for examination. Fox had worked on the machine for several years. Eyewitnesses say Tesla himself had a hand in its construction. As part of his performance, Fox placed several glowing spheres near the machine. He said they provided the machine with the energy it needed in order to operate. Next, Mr. Fox and Miss Forrest stepped into the machine. There was a bright flash of light and then smoke filled the stage. When the smoke cleared, Mr. Fox and Miss Forrest were nowhere to be seen. Later, the machine disappeared as well. You're finally here. I was afraid my letter was lost in the mail. I assume you've examined the case. Make yourself at home. Everything you need is on the desk where the officer on duty sits, including a box of Fox's personal belongings. Perhaps you'll find something important among the trash. Collect everything you need to begin searching the theater.
Good evening, detective. I was waiting for you in the theater. What can I do for you? Do you need information about the tickets for Fox's show? Details about who was in the audience? I'd be happy to share even confidential information with you. After you do me a favor, please find my monocle. I accidentally dropped it somewhere, and without it, I won't be able to help you. Sorry, but I'm useless without my monocle. Thank you. That's better. Now, let's see what Fox left you. Voila! I think this will help you. Good luck with your search. Remember, John, this is more than a theater. It's the House of Illusions, where many things will seem strange. Until you learn how the magician performs the trick. Feel free to search the whole place. Be careful. And good luck.
Hello, venerable sir. How can I help you? I've never been in trouble with the law. I respect all regulations and decrees. I even have a document confirming I'm an honest man. Here it is. Do you see it? What? Did I see Fox and his assistant? No, sir. By the way, do you like games? I'm mad about them. When I was a child, I imagined I was a policeman who caught criminals. Now, I entertain audiences. I am an actor. Wait, I remember something. There was a man, a tall man wearing a big hat, just like yours. He was in the tent, and he was in a hurry, just like you. He forgot something. I, I had hit it. What? Oh, play with me, and if you win, I'll give it to you. <gasps> oh no, one thimble is missing. I need you to find it. Bring it to me and we'll play. Hmm, look for it in the theater. Are you looking for these people? Hmm. <laughs> Did this old codger misbehave again? He was just here. As for the woman, I don't know anything about her. Huh. What happened to his assistant angel? I don't know. He seemed to be in a hurry. He even refused a cup of his favorite coffee. Let's ask my cards. They never lie. Unfortunately, four cards are missing from the deck. Would you look for them? Andy probably took them for his card tricks, or hid them nearby.
I need the cards in order to begin the seance. Until you bring them to me, I can't help you.
I've done everything I can for you. Continue your search. the thimble. Great! Oh, let's play! I promise I won't cheat! Well, that was a fair game, and you won. Here's your reward.
Ah, good, you found them. Now we can begin the seance. Pull a few cards from the deck. Hmm. I see a road, a long road. Now I see a desert, endless sand. And now oh, I see spirits. You'll have to talk with the dead. Oh, I see the sea. Oh, this will be a dangerous journey. But you can make it, John. John, the cards don't lie. Hurry before something happens that you can't undo. And take my magic ball. It will help you to launch the devil machine. Good luck. And take care.
Marhaban, Wayfarer, welcome to my home. I see you have come a long way. Sit down and rest. I'll prepare my favorite hookah. Oh, Shaitan, this pain again. 
Honorable Elma Azira, I beg your pardon. Old age takes a toll. Would you prepare the hookah for an old man to ease his pain? Oh, Shukran, my old bones thank you. My friend, have you found the hookah? Look over there. Ashkaruka, John. My gratitude knows no bounds. Now my heart is calm and can listen to you. So, what led you to these lands? Are you looking for Mr. Fox? I know him. He's a dignified man. He has a zealous heart, but good intentions. Only that magic had always been on his mind, and he was ready to travel to the end of the world to acquire it. When Mr. Fox was young, he was eager to learn the magic of the Orient. That's why he came here. He became my apprentice, and I taught him the truth of many things. He was talented. Ah, yes! Do you see the chess set? Mr. Fox could spend hours with it. Take a look at it. Maybe you'll find something that will help your investigation.
again. Leave me alone! Mm, I see you're not here to make a profit. You're a man of the light. Thank you for coming. Many years ago, a barbarian human cursed me. Me! Damned curse. I don't even know what he did. I can't approach my frail body. In my wanderings through the dark, I have learned that people of the light are able to dispel the curse. Please, don't say you're too busy. I'll help you rescue Angela. Yes, I know what happened to her. I also know something more. If you free my soul, I'll tell you what is hidden from your eyes. Don't hesitate to accept my offer. I'll be waiting for you in my tomb. <sighs> Many years ago, I learned the art of taming fire there. Like Mr. Fox, I was full of ambition and desire to conquer magic. Alas, magic turned against me. An old malicious ghost settled into the temple. Holy Iblis! And a curse is keeping the ghost in this world. Unfortunately, I don't understand the nature of the curse. <sighs> However, in a book even more ancient than me, <laughs> I found the recipe for a potion that can dissolve magic. It's a miracle. Take it. Perhaps it will be more helpful than I have been. I'm no longer able to travel. It's up to you to do this, my friend. May God bless you, John. Ilalika. Goodbye.
I won't tell you anything until my soul rests in peace. I won't tell you anything until my soul rests in peace. Thank you. 
Oh, Mr. Detective, how's the investigation going? You disappeared so suddenly last time, I thought Fox's machine swallowed you too. It became quiet here after Mr. Fox disappeared. He liked to spend his free time here, looking through old books and inventing new tricks. I miss him. Oh, uh, yes. I was putting everything in order on Fox's table and found this key among the blueprints. It appears to be a wind-up key for a clock. But I tried to wind every clock in the theater with it, and it doesn't fit any of them. Take it. Perhaps it will help your investigation.
library and the theater are at your disposal. Now, please excuse me, as I have many things to do. Mr. Detective, wait! I remembered something. I recently read a newspaper article about Mr. Houdini's new shows, and it said Mr. Fox and Mr. Houdini were good friends. They even staged a few shows together. I'm no detective, but I'm sure finding Houdini the Great will take you closer to Mr. Fox. The article said <clears throat> that Mr. Houdini had arrived at the port of Seaville. That's all I know. Mr. Perry, I don't know how to ask. This theater would love for Mr. Houdini to perform a show within its walls. If you could find him, could you give him this invitation? We need shows. Otherwise, dust will cover the theater, just like this library. I'd be grateful. Have a nice trip. my eyes. I'm free. Now I'll enter the world of eternal rest and bliss. I've been waiting so long for this. Did you think I was going to leave this world without helping you? You fulfilled your promise to me. Now I'll fulfill mine to you. Being a ghost, I have visited hundreds of worlds and have come to know many secrets. I have seen thousands of living beings and experienced many feelings. I have seen thousands of living beings and experienced their hopes and dreams, triumphs, 
and tragedies. Hate and envy corrupt souls and push people to do horrible things. Beware of the two-faced man whose desires blind him. He's always near, but never accessible. Give me the sphere. This is my gift to you, John Perry, man of light. Now, no one can disturb me. <sighs> <laughs> What you need? I don't know you. Perhaps your robbers then will hurt me. Prove your respect and then maybe I will let you in. For now, go! I don't need problems. Shop is closed. Oh, what a nice item. Too bad it lacks herbs.
item makes me happy. I accept the gift as a sign of your respect. Come in. Welcome. I hope I didn't make you angry. You must be careful as my shop was robbed. The robbers took many valuables. Are you a buyer or a seller? Ah, you are a detective. Are you looking for Houdini? Let's make a deal. If you are a detective, then find a highly valuable item for me. In return, I will give you the key to the town hall. You must then set the clock on the tower to the time when the tavern opens. Houdini is rehearsing there. Agreed? Wonderful! I've been looking for this for many years. You will find an ancient scroll inside the court jester. Be careful, it's very old. Bring me the scroll and I'll give you the key. No scroll, no deal.
Mr. Detective, nice to see you again. You certainly have an amazing ability to suddenly disappear and then reappear. <laughs> okay, I won't waste your time. The other day, Mr. Boston, the constable, came to the theater. Remember him? He was looking for you. He said it was urgent. Unfortunately, I don't know what he wanted. You know police officers. Everything hush-hush and top secret. <laughs> so, Mr. Perry, I think you need to go to the police station. And don't forget about Mr. Houdini. I'm still waiting for him to grace our theater. What are you waiting for? Mr. Boston is waiting for you at the police station. Good luck. Detective Perry? Where have you been? I couldn't find you. Andrew and Fox's fingerprints finally arrived from London. Now you'll be able to examine them and clarify what's going on. You can find the letter in the locker with the card file. The fingerprints from the crime scene are on the table.
I've done everything I can for you. Continue your search. I've done everything I can for you. Continue your search. Now you will make me rich! Do you want to work for me? <laughs> I have many other things for you to find. If you find them all, I'll give you the key. <laughs> no? Then get out. The key is mine. I also need to repair my telegraph machine. I'm waiting for an important message. <laughs>
doing? Let me out! Okay, take what's yours! How about another deal? I'll slide the key under the door and you will free me. Agreed? Fine, take the key! Now, set me free! Thank you, detective. You taught me a valuable lesson. Hey, where are my props? Cursed storm! I can't perform. Can't you say I'm busy? Please come to my show if you want an autograph. Oh, wait. You're not an actor or a fan, are you? I beg your pardon. I don't know why I'm still looking for my things. I've already searched these boxes a hundred times. Do you have anything for me? No? Then please leave me alone.
Do you have anything for me? No? Then please leave me alone. Do you have anything for me? No? Then please leave me alone. What? An invitation. Let me see. The Mr. Fox Theater. It's been a long time since I performed there. You're looking for Andy Fox, aren't you? I can help you, but I need to find everything for my show first. I performed tonight, but I lost half of my props in the storm. If you can find something, anything, I'd be grateful. Wonderful, John. Now, help me perform a trick. I have to rehearse it at least once, and I need an assistant. Please, lock the handcuffs. As for the key, throw it away.
Now, seal the chest. John, I hope you're still here. <laughs> Please slide the screen. Add some mystery. Amazing, isn't it? The audience will love it. Regarding your case, when we created the time machine with Mr. Toad, Fox's assistant, why are you surprised? I also had a hand in its creation. So, Mr. Toad, a little man with great wit, and I discovered that if one activates every sphere at once, the time machine will open a portal to the world of oblivion. It exists and doesn't exist at the same time. Panopticon is, hmm, a world of illusions. We haven't been able to study its nature or its qualities yet, but Mr. Toad has always been interested in it. That's all I know. Thank you for your help, John. I'm going to continue rehearsing. I have only a few hours before my show starts. Good luck. him regret that. I just need to finish my trap. Ah, ah, Detective Perry, I wasn't expecting you. I don't know how I got here. I find these mirrors to be very unusual. I thought I needed to take a closer look at them. Oh, oh, oh.
What? What was that? Where am I? Are you the one who rescued me from that nightmare? Thank you. I, I thought I'd never get out of there. Where are we? Does this place really look like this, or am I still out of my mind? I don't remember how I got here. I remember introducing the time machine before the show. Mr. Toad decided to check the mechanism, just in case. Uh-huh, so that's what happened. After all, the machine worked fine during rehearsal. This is all his fault. How could I have so blindly trusted him? Where is he? Ah, I wish we could leave him there. 
Too bad he's the only one who knows how to get out of here. John Perry? How is this possible? I, I don't understand. You left and I... I gave up hope of seeing you again. And then everything turned into a nightmare. I thought it would never end. But... But you saved me. Oh, John. You do still love me. Now everything will be fine. I wish we could return to the real world. I have so much to tell you.
glad to be free. The world of illusions nearly swallowed me. Thank you, John. If it hadn't been for you, I would have been in there forever. I know I've done a lot of wrong. Malice blinded me and made me its victim. But I can save us all. Maybe this is how I can wash away my guilt, although I don't deserve forgiveness. John, I need your help. Glad everything ended well. You're here with me. You know, Andy, I have a wonderful idea. We'll stage a new show. The Magnificent Mr. Toad and the Marvelous Mr. Fox spark your imagination! <laughs> okay, okay, we can call it The Magnificent Mr. Fox and the Marvelous Mr. Toad. We'll book a world tour and stage dozens of new tricks.